Hi, in this video we are going to talk about data processing and regression uh, with Python and we're going to focus on how to do that with Pandas, which is probably the most popular library for data processing, and sklearn, which is the library used for creating the linear regression models. So uh, we will create these models uh, along with an example that is from an artificial CSV dataset that contains some fake temperature observations along with the longitude and altitude. So the row CSV or comma separated values file, uh, it looks like this, it's pretty simple. And to read that we can simply use the read CSV function that takes in a path. So this results in a pandas data frame. So dev stands for data frame and it's a data structure that looks like this. So actually read CSV offers many more capabilities and you can take a look at the available arguments in the documentation. Uh, but some data manipulation um, tips before we get into the model. Uh, so in order to access a column, you can use the attribute access with a dot or a key access with a bracket and a string. And this results in a so-called pandas series. So here longitudes, longitudes is a panda series which is just a vector with a name. And then if you want to access multiple columns, then you have to do the uh, have to use the double brackets with uh, strings. And then to uh, drop a column or ignore it, you can use the drop function along with the argu uh, column argument. And then to rename the columns, which we will do in our case, uh, we will use uh, we will change the value of the columns attribute. So here we change the names because we don't really want to write this whole temperature Celsius thing whenever we want to access the temperature. So this makes our lives easier. Okay, so um, the task of linear regression is to predict the temperature based on the altitude and the longitude. But first we need to decide, do we really need both features or both columns? And well, if we plot, uh, if we make a simple scatter plot of how these values depend on each other, we can see that longitude does not really depend on temperature because this scatter plot is pure noise. While on the other hand, we do see a linear uh, relation between altitude and temperature. So for this reason, we are going to drop the uh, longitude col column. And then it's also very important to drop none values. Um, this can have this can you can do this with a drop and a function. In our case, we don't really have any non values because this is a fake data set, but this is a very important step in real life data. Um, yeah, so as we said, uh, our only feature will be the altitude and the label will be the temperature. And a data point just represents the temperature at a given altitude. So to separate this, uh, the features from the labels, we can just use this code. And then let's go to linear regression. So our goal here is to minimize a loss function, which uh, depicts how good the ML model is. And uh, a common choice of this loss function is the mean squared error uh, loss, which is given here. So here, eight is our hypothesis of uh, so it's the model prediction for the example xi and uh, yi is the ground truth. 